What is going on everybody? Well, as you can see, it we just got drenched on. Everything soaked, mower's a mess. Oh, I'll tell you what, I am sick and tired of this weather. I don't know about you guys, if it's not raining, it's so blazing hot you can't do anything. But uh, we've got, how many left, Seven, six left? Six yards left to do. Miss Sarah's with me. How are you, dear? It's always a pleasure to be here. There you go. It's pay week, and uh, got plenty of mowing to do. Let's go do some. Right, guys done and done with this one beautiful place I'm gonna post the backyard to Instagram today I'll tell you what the Sun's out thank goodness because when the Sun was not out the humidity was horrible man you know what I'm saying hey we are gonna talk I'm trying to uh, I did a little poll last night what do you guys want to see in the videos sorry I got something in my eye and most of you said more talking, uh, some said mowing, some said trimming. And uh, we're going to talk today about three little phrases that is in almost every American's vocabulary. I can't do it, I won't do it, I don't want to do it. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Let me get to the last yard. We've got two left. And uh, I'll break down why that is such bullshit and why those need to change. And uh, until they change, nothing in your life is going to get better. So we'll be back. for the day boys and girls now it's arts and crafts time we get to uh, change the oil I don't think I don't know if you can see that 549 we're at 553 so this thing's getting some hours on her we're gonna do a 550 some hour uh, review on this bad boy and you may be surprised at what I think um, anyway, let me get back to, let me go get the stuff and let me get back to what I was saying. There's, uh, there's my phone. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, she is all done. I just got to put the cover on her and double check the oil. And now we can get back to our talk. That was, uh, Big Mo that called me and, uh, he was trying to, He's trying to weasel his way out of paying for the uh, weekend getaway that I loaned him. But uh, wasn't having none of that. I said, look, that money's got to be here today. And uh, he sent me an extra 
thou. Sent me over an extra thou. I appreciate that, Big Mo. Um, by the way, just kidding. So some of you don't uh, decide to make a video and say, oh, Big Mo owes Doc money. No, he doesn't. Okay. So get a fucking life. And uh, we're going to talk about now the three most famous phrases. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. And I won't do it. And you know what those are? Uh, that's nothing but a bunch of bullshit excuses. Those are for people who are afraid of everything in life. You can't do it because you don't want to do it. And you don't want to do it because you won't do it. Okay? So those three phrases work together. And mostly, those are for lazy asses who have nothing to look forward to in life. Um, much like some on YouTube who spend more time worrying about what me, the Lawn Stars, and our friends and our wives are doing then they do their own children and their own wives. But, you know, what, what can you do about that, man? That's, that's just ignorance, okay? It's pure, straight ignorance. And uh, those people, like those who say, uh, I, I, can't, I can't do that. I, I can't. Hey, uh, swim a lap in the pool. I, I can't do that. Why can't you do it? Well, I, I don't want to do it. Why don't you want to do it? Well, let, let me just put it this way. I won't do it. How about uh, when you're done with your work for the day, you go out and jog a mile? Well, I can't do that. It's hot. Uh, I, I've got bad legs. My knees hurt. Uh, I got a bad back. I've got, you know, you can find all the excuses in the world why you can't don't and won't but until you get rid of those three phrases in your vocabulary you're going to be nothing in life okay i'm not going to sugarcoat the shit for you until you decide that you can you will and you'll try you, you're i mean it's over man let's just be honest with each other let's not sit here and sugarcoat and make you feel good about yourself. I did get up. I did go out and cut eight yards today. I did work in the heat. I didn't only try it. I did it. I got it done. And I was home by 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay? Now, I know some of you guys are like, why, does it, why don't you stay out till 5 or 6 o'clock? Why should I? I don't have to. I get up early, man. I get my I get my work done. But I'm telling you guys, quit using I, I told you last week, quit using excuses, man. Can't, won't, and don't are just nothing but excuses that lazy people use to keep themselves in that little box. Well, I don't I, I I can't I can't make a video. People will laugh at me. Who gives a shit what people think of you? Well, I can't make a video because I don't know all the facts. Look, nobody knows all the facts, Jack. Put out what you do. Decide today that can't, won't, and don't are not in your vocabulary. Put them away. I'm not telling you that I'm perfect. I've used them a million times, okay? But I'm done with them. Everything I am telling you guys is stuff that I've already come to the conclusion in my mind. I'm finished with all these excuses. Why, why can't I make more money? Well, it's simply because I won't put in the extra effort to go make it. Okay? It's not because the work's not there. It's not... I could use every excuse in the book, man. Okay? If you want to be somebody and you want to be successful, you're going to have to learn how to change the thinking, the mindset. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the new video style I'm doing. I don't care. You don't have to watch it. You can turn it off. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. Nobody's, you know. 
telling you, hey, you got to watch this guy. I'm fed up with the BS I see out on YouTube. I think it's about time people get real. We got uh, good old Big H, Eddie H over there. He's breaking it off every day. You got Randall. He's breaking it off. Ray Ray's telling it like it is. The Lawn Stars tell you the truth. The problem is, man, people want a feel-good story. They don't want the truth. You know how you get a feel-good story? You go through a hell of a lot of pain and a lot of agony and a lot of anguish and torment and torture. And then when you finally make it to the end, that's the feel-good story. But you know what? 99% of you out there, you don't want to go through all that to get to it. You just want to be there. Doesn't work like that, man. Never going to work like that. Unless you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth and daddy and mommy give you everything you want, it ain't going to work like that. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed today's mowing footage. Uh, it's a hot one out. We're over 93 right now. Uh, which is not as bad as some, I guarantee you that. But guys, uh, like me, don't like me, means no difference to me. I'm going to keep making my videos. When you finally sit down and say, you know what? I've got a million excuses that I can use. But, but today, I'm done. When you do that, life's going to get a whole hell of a lot better for you, man. But you are going to go through some trials. You ain't going to stop that. Guys, I'm out of here. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. Keep pushing. Keep striving. I know you got it in you. You got to get rid of those words, man. Those four-letter words that eat you alive. Get rid of them. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys. Peace.